Michael again today. There he is. That's a little beagle mix. Only six months old when he was scheduled to be put down in Florence, Alabama back in 2011. But he survived miraculously. They named him Daniel after the biblical figure who survived in the lion's den. Daniel found a home with John Joe Dwyer, a motivational speaker from New Jersey. Tomorrow, they both will ride on the Lucy Pet Foundation float in the Rose Parade for New Year's Day. Joining us from beautiful and sunny in Roseville, Pasadena, are Joe Dwyer and the miracle dog himself. Daniel, good to see you both. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Joe. Good morning. Thanks for having us here. We're thrilled to be here. Well, we've just heard of Daniel's amazing survival story of surviving being put down. Uh, and how did he get to be with you? How did you adopt him? Well, we were very fortunate to meet the criteria of 11th Hour Rescue, which was to have a home with other rescue dogs and have ample time and ability for him to exercise and things like that. So we met their criteria and we're happy to balance his life with being a dog, having a family, and doing what we're doing, trying to spread the message for the Lucy Pet Foundation now. I love looking at him right now, gazing off camera right now, looking for a snack. How is he doing? I mean, yeah. do you know how he managed to survive? What did he go through? Well, he went through up to 30 minutes in a gas chamber with probably 17 other dogs. And miraculously, he survived. There's been many accounts of how that happened. But at least from my perspective, this is a dog who is so upbeat and such a great attitude. And now I think he knows his mission. And that's how I believe he survived. Oh, he obviously had a will to live. And now he's taking a rest. And he's obviously a tough, a tough little guy. Uh, tell us more about Daniel. I mean, obviously he's, he's a sweetheart by the looks of things. But uh, has he got a funky personality or is he kind of Mr. Mellow? Well, no, he has a great personality. He's just wonderful to be around. And, you know, I think one of the important things to realize is there's 80,000 Daniels that take the form of loving dogs and cats in our country every week that lose their life. And we want to put a stop to that. And the Lucy Pet Foundation is wonderful. We're here. We're hosted by them on their float in the Rose Parade. And they are all about spay and neuter. They are all about trying to end the horrific gas chamber, and we want to make sure that other Daniels, like I said, those many every week that lose their life, end up in loving families. And the Lucy Pet Foundation and Daniel and I are ready to make that happen. Well, Joe, we see the beautiful, beautifully decorated float behind you. We know uh, uh, countless volunteers spent many, many hours decorating that beautiful float and others just like it that we'll see on New Year's Day. Uh, tell us about what will happen with you and Daniel aboard that float tomorrow. What are people going to see? Well, we're, we're really looking forward to it. It's uh, going to be a, certainly an experience. Uh, the Lucy Pet Foundation float is absolutely spectacular, as you can see it behind me. It's taken an incredible turn over the last couple of days with many volunteers working on it. And we, along with other rescue dogs that will be performing here on the float, We'll be riding through the streets of Pasadena in the Tournament of Roses Parade, and we'll be waving to the crowd and trying to bring an awareness to all the things I mentioned before. The theme of the Tournament of Roses Parade is dreams come true. Oh, well. And our dream <laughs> is to make this happen for companion animals. I think Daniel so, embodies that yeah. for sure. Do you have any tricks? What's he going to do on that float? How are you getting him ready? Well, Daniel has a couple of tricks. He's certainly not as accomplished as the dogs that you'll see on the float with him. Uh, they're wonderful, too, but he has two tricks that are very important. Can you show us? He does a high five to keep his friends alive. Well, like we could try. Oh, yeah. Come on. Daniel. Come on, Daniel. <laughs> no pressure. Daniel. Daniel. It's, it's early no in Pasadena this morning. Oh, yeah? Daniel. Daniel. High five. High five. High five. Good boy. Yeah. 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 He's got a treat. Good boy. Also, I love it. Well, Joe, he also does a, uh, a happy dance for Lucy Pet. But, uh, I feel like I he know, might have to save that for tomorrow. Yeah, That'll be the big dance after 9 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we want to say a big thank you to you, Joe Dwyer and Daniel. Uh, a real miracle story he has. A tremendous dog and a tremendous story. And we hope you guys have a great time tomorrow. It's an annual tradition for Pasadena and for America. Thanks so much for joining us, Joe. A big high five to both of you. Well, we... Uh, uh, thank you very much. We appreciate being on today. Thank you. Be well, be well. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I have to tell you, I'm thank having you. just a twinge of seeing that.